A very good morning, everyone. Let's start the practice. Everybody, please be seated in comfortable posture. Make sure your spine, neck, head is straight in line. Both the palms into chin mudra, tip of the index and thumb together. Place them on your thighs. Close your eyes. Let's go ahead with three mindful inhalations and exhalations. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You feel your abdomen bulging out as you inhale, shrinking in as you exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly join your palms together into Namaskara Mudra at the center of the chest. Let's all chant Omkara for three times. Take a deep inhalation, exhaling, chant Omkara. Inhale. Ooh. Inhale. Let's all chant Asatoma Satkarmaya. If you're familiar with the prayer, please chant along. Others can listen to the prayer. Om Asatoma Satkarmaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Nrityorma Amrutangamaya Om Shanti 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 Slowly Start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Then make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. Then with few gentle blinks, open your eyes looking into your palms. Okay. Manam eye exercises chase chala rose line bandi. So just oxar mali eye exercises chetam. First, widen your eyes. So slightly widen your eyes. Then look up at the roof. Then look down at the floor. Let's do this movement for another five times. Look up, down. Keep your facial muscles relaxed. Up, down. 
up, down, up, down, up, and down. Close your eyes, relax. Keep your awareness around the eye region. These eye practices helps in improving the blood circulation around your eyes. Also helps to reduce the digital eye strain. Gently open your eyes. Again, widen your eyes as much as possible. Now, look at the right extreme corner. Then slowly shift to the left extreme corner. Then to the right. Left. Continue for another five times. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. And left. Close your eyes. Relax. Yeah, one important thing, gently open your eyes. Make sure you're not wearing any contact lenses when you're doing these practices. Spectacles pet kundunagani remove chandi. Throughout the practice, it's very important to remove your specs for comfortable practice. Okay, now let's go ahead with diagonal movement. We'll first look at the right upper corner and Look at the look down towards the left side. Yeah. Right up, left down. Right up, left down. Continue the diagonal movement for another five times. Very good. Up, down. Three up, down. Four up, down. Five up, and down. Close your eyes for a second. Observe your eye region. You can clearly feel the flow of the blood. Gently open your eyes. Now, look at the right, right up and left down. Look at diagonal movement. Up, down. Right up opposite to the three down four right up down five right up and up. close your eyes relax so mix eye land problem in Nagani regular eye exercises chala help out there. Eye slow na dryness of the reduce eye. Eyes moisten out in learn practice as well. Thrataka ningo kriya goda nich kunam future classes lo. So vision related problems vinna walaki. Eye exercises and thrataka very helpful practices. Gently open your eyes. Now let's. Go ahead with circular movement. First, look up at the roof. Then slowly take your eyes to the right. Look down, left. Slow and gently with the smooth movement. Continue for another five times. Up, right, down, left. Up, right, down. Left. Make sure you're moving only your eyes. Continue. Two more times. Up. Right. Down. Left. Up. Right. Down. Yes. Left. Close your eyes. Relax. Okay. 
Once again, open your eyes as wide as possible. Anti-clockwise. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. Two more times. Up, left, down, right. One last time. Close your eyes, relax completely. These days we are constantly looking at screens. So there's so much strain on the eyes. These practices help to relax the eye muscles. Complete awareness around the eye region. Okay. Gently open your eyes. Now open your eyes wider and squeeze them tight. Five times. Wide, tight. Two, three. Four, five, relax. Okay, now gently open your eyes. Let's blink our eyes quickly for 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Close your eyes, relax. Try to remember these practices and try to practice them regularly so that you can feel the difference and feel the improvement. Relax completely. Gently open. This is the last practice that we'll be doing for the eyes. So try to focus at the center of the eye. Eyebrows. Look at the center of the eyebrow with your eyes. Center of the eyebrow. Let's hold there for 10 counts, normal breathing. One, two, three, four. Gaze at the center of your eyebrow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, relax. Once again, gently open your eyes. Now focus at the root, sorry, tip of the nose. Focus at the tip of the nose for 10 counts, normal breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, really. Now, once again, keeping your eyes closed, rub your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup, place them over your eyes, feel the warmth. Slowly open your eyes, looking into your palms. Okay. Now, gently massage your Eyebrows from inside to outside. Gentle massage. You should feel relaxed when you're doing this. Three more times. Enjoy the Very good. Now, place your fingertips on your temple region. Let's go ahead with rotation clockwise. Five times forward. Two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five. You can close your eyes. Enjoy. Relax. Slow and gentle. Okay. Then... Slowly move to your ears and gentle press from the top of the ear till the bottom. Okay. 
this press helps to improve your alertness. Make sure you're massaging your entire ear. Okay, now fold your ear into half as you fold a paper. I'm doing on one side because I'm having it on my air pod. Please, you, everybody, please do it on both the sides. Fold it into half and release. Both the ears. Two, three, four, and five. Release. Close your eyes. Relax. Observe your eyebrows, your forehead, and your ears after these moments. And you can feel the difference. Gently open your eyes. Now fill the cheeks with air. And hold there for 10 counts. You can close your eyes and observe your cheeks. A very good practice to improve the blood circulation, which improves the facial glow and helps in toning the buccal muscles. Close your eyes and hold there. Very good. Now move the air in all possible directions for another 15 counts. Slowly release. Relax. Now observe the cheeks. You can feel slight tingling sensation. That's the flow of the blood. Improve blood circulation. Gently open your eyes. Now let's go ahead with pout and smile movement. So you get your lips forward and smile. Let's do this for five counts. Release, relax. Keep observing your facial muscles. One last moment for the facial muscles today. Drop your lower jaw and close it five times. Okay, now observe me. After you drop your jaw muscle, you move it right and left. Slowly release, relax. If you observe clearly, you can feel the improved blood circulation. Enjoy the feeling. Okay, now. We'll move on to the neck moment. Slowly inhaling, raise your neck up. Feel the beautiful stretch in the neck region. Exhale down and try to touch your chin to the collarbone. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Slowly neck to the center. Tilt your neck towards the right side. Try to touch your ear to the shoulder. 
Keep your shoulder relaxed. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Try to tilt and try to feel the stretch. Center. Right. On the right, with the opposite hand, gently pull your neck. Feel the extra stretch, but make sure you're being gentle. And let's hold there for five counts, normal breathing. Priya, go opposite hand. Yes, good. One, two, three, four, five. Center, shift to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly, center. Very good. Let's go ahead with the twisting movement now. Inhale, center. Exhaling, twist towards the right side. Try to get the chin parallel to the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Center, left. One last time. Center. On the right, let's hold there for five counts. Normal breathing. Enjoy the beautiful stretch. Two, three, four, five. Center. Now to the left. Everybody is doing it really good. One, two. Shift to the other side. Two. Three, four, five. Slowly center. Now let's go ahead with rotation. Head rotation. Bend your neck forward. Kindly avoid forward bending of the neck if you're having any neck issues. Rotation should be only at the back if you're having any neck pain. Bend your neck forward. Others can go ahead with complete rotation towards the right, back, left, center. Please continue for another two times. If you're having any neck pain, you can observe me. You just take your neck back and twist it from right to left and left to right. Others, after you're done with three counts in the clockwise rotation, let's go ahead with anti-clockwise after you're done with three times. The anti-clockwise, you bend your neck forward, then take it to the left, back, right, and center. Do it according to your own pace. Do it slowly and gently, enjoying your practice. After you finish three counts, you can get your neck back to the center and relax. Make sure your spine is straight throughout the practice. Once you're done, close your eyes, relax. Observe your neck region. And gently open your eyes. And now stretch your legs forward. And shake your legs to right and left. Now, everybody stand up without taking the support of your hands. If possible. E rozu or complete elaborate sukshma vyayama skip chest na mandi. E rozu kovela first day join aina wala ita ma recorded sessions unta YouTube lo. Avi refer ches. Next class, we will practice this. 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 We will practice this.
elaborate this skip chain. See, we are going ahead with Surya Namaskar. And the Kantamandi, Surya Namaskar and Buddha warm up laga chase taru, but it's better to practice. Sukshma Vyayama and then go ahead with Surya Namaskara ideally. But once in a while, it's okay to directly go ahead with Surya Namaskara as a warm up. Okay. Before Surya Namaskara, just another few moments. Both the hands on your waist. We are going ahead with waist rotation. Clockwise. Four, five, reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Just one ankle rotation, right leg forward, and rotate your ankle clockwise. Two, three, four, five, reverse, five. Four awareness around your ankles. Three, two, four, one. Ready. Take it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. All of you, please stand in front of the mat. Both the palms into Namaskar. We are going to get it. So, Namaskar. First, we'll go ahead with mantra. Please chant the mantra after I begin. Om Mitra Yanamaha. And raise your hands up and then back. Om Ravahi Yanamaha. Then forward. Om Surya Yanamaha. Then back. Om Now we are going ahead with another round. This time we'll 
Hold in each posture for five counts. Hand center into Namaskar Sthiti. One, two, three, four, five. Hands up and bend back. Try to bend a little more than what you can. Lean gently. Normal breathing. Two, three, four, five. Exhaling, bend forward from your lower back and try to place your palms completely on the mat. If that's difficult, you can go ahead with up and down movement, which will help in improving the flexibility in your hamstrings. When you're doing the movement, make sure you're enjoying the good stretch at the back of your legs. Now take your right leg back, look straight. Make sure you're not bending your neck forward to avoid strain on your neck muscles. Mm. Enjoy the stretch at the back of the leg. Now take the other leg into Parvatasana. Look down and look at your toes. Try to Place the heel completely on the mat. If it's difficult, you can go ahead with heel up and down movement. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you're not holding the breath in any posture. Breathing should be normal. Gently drop your knees down. Place your chest between your palms. Chin down. If Slightly above the mat, elbows closer to the chest. Two, three, four, five. Tuck your toes and raise your head and chest up. You can look straight or at the roof. Feel the good stretch from the abdomen till your neck. Raise your hip up. Now get your right foot forward in between your palms. And just counting silently. Get the other leg forward so that you can concentrate on your body. Not on the count. Then slowly raise your hands up and then back. And slowly sit. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Namaskar Siddhi. Inhaling hands up and then back. Try to bend back a little more than you can. Feel gentle. Then from, then from your lower back, bend forward. If it's difficult to completely place your palms on the mat, go ahead with up and down pulsing movement. But back bend on the one. Two spoon chaining, pulling on it. Just get your hands forward. Do not bend forward more than you can. Okay. Then take your left leg back, look straight. Other leg back into Parvata. If it's difficult to completely place the heel on the mat, you can go ahead with the heel up and down movement. Gently place the knees on the mat. Chest between your palms, chin on the mat. Elbows closer. Hips slightly above. Lifted above. Raise your head and chest up into side passing. Hip up into Parvatasana. Mm -hmm. 
left leg forward in between your palms into Pirasana or Hasra Sanchala. Look straight. Avoid forward bending of the neck. Get other leg forward. Raise your hands up and bend back. And center into the skies. Hold the hands by the side, close your eyes, relax, and observe your entire body after the practice of Surya Namaskar. You can feel and feel the flow of the breath throughout the body. Feel the oxygen rich blood reaching each and every cell in the body. Let your breath come back to normal. Gentle smile on your face. So, we are playing Vinyasa Yoga in the winter. Vinyasa Yoga is a flow of asanas, like from one posture to another. Surya Namaskar is an example for Vinyasa. Yoga because we are flowing in from one posture into another place. Okay, just that's just for your information. Okay, one balancing posture we practice and then we relax in Shavasana or Prashantasana. Make sure your left leg is firmly planted on the mat and try to distribute the weight of the body equally throughout the foot, left foot and fold your right leg and try to get the heel as close as possible to the perineum. Okay. Depending on your flexibility, it's completely okay. But avoid placing your foot Beside your knee. Okay? One very thing, important thing that you need to do, in, like that you need to keep in mind when you're practicing Rikshasana, always, always avoid placing the feet beside the knee, which can lead to knee injuries with regular practice. But regular practice is not good for the body. So always. Foot either above or below, depending on your own flexibility. So, now if you're comfortable here, slowly get your hands to the shoulder level. Turn your palms up towards the roof. Put your hands to 90 degrees, join your palms together. Arms closer to your ears, forearms closer to your ears. Select a point, keep gazing at that point, and let's hold in this posture for 15 counts with normal breathing. Observe your entire body. Feel the left leg taking the entire weight of the body. We're trying to improve the strength in the legs. Balancing helps in improving concentration and memory also. Balancing postures helps us to stay in the present without worrying too much about the present, sorry, future and the past. Come there. Enjoy the practice. Gentle smile on your face. And slowly release your hands and release your legs. Hold the hands by the side, relax. If this is difficult, you can also place your hands at the center of the chest. Now firmly plant the left foot on the mat, hold the 
right foot on the mat, fold the left leg. Left heel as close as possible to the peritoneum. Once you're comfortable here, another important point, make sure you're not pushing your hip too much towards the side, try right? to keep it straight. Okay, after that, hold the hands to the shoulder level, turn your palms up, hold the hands into Namaskar Stiti. Try to straighten your hands as much as possible, keeping your forearms closer to your ears. Now select a point, gazing at the point, balance yourself. Well down, slowly release your arms, release your legs, both the hands by the side, close your eyes, relax. All of you, please lie down in Prashantasana or Shavasana. Hold the palms beside your hips, palms facing up towards the room. Toes pointing out, right toes pointing right side, left toes pointing left, heels facing each other. Leave the entire weight of your body on Mother Earth and relax completely. Observe the raising and the falling of your abdomen. Enjoy the lightness in your body and release if there's any stress or strain in the muscles. Observe your breathing. Observe your abdominal movements in the legs. Gently move your fingertips and your toes and open your eyes. Let's go ahead with Pavanamukhasana. Raise both the legs up to 45 degrees and fold them on the abdomen with interlock palms. Press your thighs towards the abdomen. If you have any knee pain, get your hands under your calf muscles. In between your thighs and your calf muscles, if you have any knee pain, others can get your hands on up. Make sure you're pressing the thighs gently towards your abdomen to massage all your abdominal organs. Hold there. Normal breathing. Enjoy the stretch and the compression. Your Having any neck pain, please relax in the same posture. Neck pain, Leni Vandu. Only people without any neck pain. Slowly raise your head up and try to get your forehead in between your knees. And with normal breathing, hold there. Two, three, four, five. And slowly. Release your neck. 
Release your hands and slowly release your legs and release. After that compression, once we release the posture, the flow, blood flow is improved in the abdominal organs, which improves the lifespan of the organs, which helps in improving our lifespan, uh, which helps in anti-aging. Slowly turn towards your right side and lie down on your abdomen. After you lie down, take your hands at the back in the middle of your palms. Join your legs together. Chin on the mat. This is a variation of Shalabhasana. Slowly inhaling, raise your head, chest, and your legs up, balancing your entire body on the abdomen. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do this for another four times. Two up, down, three up, down. So gently four up, down, five up, and down. Okay, now let's go ahead with Bhagavasana. Hold your legs, hold your ankles. If this is difficult, you can continue after the Nirasana. With practice, there will be improvement in your flexibility. Okay, hold your ankles and raise your body up, balancing on your abdomen. Exhale down. Let's do the Sopana movement for another three times. And the fourth time will come into the posture and with normal breathing will hold for five counts. Inhale up. Exhale down. Continue. Two up. Down. Three up, down. Very good. Now, everybody try to push your legs slightly back and see that your chest is coming up. Four up. Try to push your legs back, slightly back. And down. Okay. If everybody is comfortable, Let's get into the posture and hold there for five counts. Okay, hold your ankles. Come up. Keep pushing your legs back to feel the expansion of the chest. And with normal breathing, let's hold there for five counts. Stay relaxed. Do not tense your muscles. If, it's, if you feel like you're tensing your muscles, initially you can go ahead with counting. You can count the numbers so that you can feel relaxed. Four, five, slowly release. Hold in the same posture. If you're comfortable, we can hold for another 10 counts this time. Very good posture for your entire body. 
Hold your legs, hold your ankles, but make sure you're not straining your body and listening to your body. Come, inhaling, come up into the posture. Now with normal breathing, we can all count together. Two, three, stay relaxed. Four, five, six, seven, look up. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Release your hands, release your legs, relax. With interlock palms, place them under your forehead. And relax completely. Enjoy the warmness in your palms. And relax. Then slowly move your palms beside your chest. Raise your head and chest up. Then gently place your leg. Come up and gently place your heels on your hips into Just to relax this time. And slowly come up into Vajrasana. If you have any knee pain, release and stretch your legs out, placing your hands at the back. Others can sit in Vajrasana or any comfortable meditative posture. We'll go ahead with breathing practice. Just relax for a couple of seconds. Close your eyes. In the bulging of the abdomen as you inhale and the shrinking of the abdomen as you exhale. Okay, now let's move on to Nadi Shodhana. Left hand into Chin Mudra, tip of the index and thumb together. Right hand into Nasikagra Mudra, index and middle at the root of the thumb. Place your left palm on the thigh, right palm near your nose. A gentle feather touch, close your right nostril. Inhale deeply through the left. Close the left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. That is one round of Nadi Shodhana. Continue. Left in. Right out, right in, left out, please continue according to your own pace. Sure, you're keeping your spine, neck, head throughout the practice. If it's your first class, I just repeat the instructions once again. Others who are familiar can practice according to your own pace. If it's your first class, or if you have any confusion, left in. Right down. Right in. Right 
left arm. Please continue. And keep your exhalations longer than your inhalations. Your spine straight, facial muscles relaxed. And continue. Slow and deep inhalations and exhalations. Beautiful practice to reduce stress and anxiety. Helps to Balance the hot and cold elements in the body. It's also known as cleansing pranayama. Helps to remove if there's any blockage in the body. Continue. Two more rounds. Practice Nadi Shodhana regularly. You can feel the difference yourselves. And the last round. After you exhale through the left, keeping your eyes closed, slowly start the practice and relax. Now observe your body, mind and breath. Observe your thoughts. Let them come and go. Let the thoughts come and go. Just observe your breathing and your thoughts. Relax. Keeping your eyes closed slowly. Join your palms together into Namaskar Stiti at the center of the chest. Let's all chant Omkara for three times. Inhale. Inhale. Once again, inhale. Let's all chant Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu. 
Slowly start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. With few gentle blinks, open your eyes, looking into your palms. Thank you all very much for practicing with us and investing another hour towards your health. Over to you, Kavita Garu. Thanks, Andy. Uh, everybody who joined this practice heroes morning. Conchum later in Nandi, a link petadamo, uh, next time in Chinkonchum near Liga Petamandi. Fifty five color join I point and eight fifty, um, seven fifty five Kantano. In the Kante Mirandra seating positions loaned Aniki, prepare a year ready to check and book up few minutes near Liga join at a better room. And uh, we thank, thank you, our sponsors, Swagat Viryanis and Nats, on behalf of uh, this practice that is on Sunday mornings for us. Thank you, Maitreyi Garu. Please stop the research. Yes. Okay.